what's up you guys, Mike Donovanik here. Today's workout is gonna be a back workout. This workout is gonna hit every single muscle in your back, including those hard to reach upper back areas. You are gonna need a set of dumbbells, so grab a set of light to mediums, those should do the trick, and let's get started. Baby got back. So go ahead, grab your dumbbells. We're gonna start off in a deadlift to a high row. So you're gonna drop down to a deadlift. As you come up, pull back into that row. Notice how the position of my hands turn. They're parallel to start off, and then turn them perpendicular. So from profile view, hinge at the hips, squeeze the shoulder blades back. So it's not a squat. Hinge at the hips, sending the butt back as far as you can, Feel that tension in your hamstring. Feeling your core, your low back, and engage. Feel that upper back. Squeeze as tight as possible, pulling those shoulder blades into each other. You have about 15 more seconds here. And now, you have the option to hold on to one or both those weights, but you're gonna turn those feet towards the right, holding on to one or both those weights again, stick your hip out to the left, you're gonna press up as you reach down to the ground. Bring it right back to center. Press up, bring it up. Now, this may not look like a back exercise, but you are firing up your lats, your rhomboids, the erectors of your spine to help you stabilize. Not to mention the entire side body. Now, you wanna make things more difficult? Keep that hand tucked in. You'll feel those muscles engage way more. Let's get three more reps. That's three. That's two. One more and Bring it back to center. Same thing, exact opposite side. So, turn your feet, hit right here. Go ahead, press up and reach up, back home. Press and reach, back to center. Remember, if you want that option to tuck that hand, into your chest on that next rep. You're gonna go for it right there. Two more reps. One more and nice job. So from right here. Bring those weights back into that left hand. From right here, you're gonna be balancing on that right leg. You're gonna go down into a deadlift, single leg deadlift. You're gonna pull back into a row. Bring it down and up. Down, row, down, up. Control the entire time. Uh, keep that back nice and flat. Try to get parallel to the ground. One more rep. Change the sides. Deadlift, row, bring it up. Deadlift, row, bring it up. Woo. Woo. 
keeping those abs tight the entire time. Remember, trying to get parallel to the ground. Engaging that back, those hamstrings, that entire posterior chain is working here. Two more reps. One more rep. Nice job. So, staying facing this way. Now, you're gonna take both those weights right at your shoulders. You're gonna go down into a good morning, similar to a deadlift, except the weight is in front of you. Press out, bring it in, up, down, out, in, up. I shouldn't say in front of you, I should say at your shoulders. Now, if this is too much with those weights, feel free to drop those weights and do the same exact movement without them. Almost there, about 20 more seconds. Two more reps. One more. Oh, whoo. Shake that back out from right here. Dropping those weights, staying in that bent over position. From right here, create an I. T and then a Y, all right? So forward, side, diagonally back. Forward, side, diagonally back. Whoo. Up, side, back. Ay, ay, ay. Up, side, back. Whoo. Up, side, back. Ha. Ah. Up, side, back. Whoo, you got this. Up, side, back. Almost there. Up, side, back. Ah. Uh, back's fired up. Everything's feeling it. Oh. Uh, two more rounds all the way through. Uh, one more. Up, out, and back. Oh, I don't know how to shake out my back. So I'm doing this weird thing because it helps and it feels better. Oh. oh. All right. Bring it down to the ground. So this time we're holding on to those weights. Feet are wider than shoulder width. From right here, you're gonna pull back into a row, press all the way up. Bring it in, back down. Pull into that row so you twist, press up, in, down. Row and twist, then press. Keep those abs tight. That core engage. Pulling back strong in that row. Let's get one more rep each side. And ah, nicely done. So now, bring those weights so they're close together. We're gonna bring those hands right outside of those weights. All right, so from right here, you're gonna go into a down dog of sorts, not exactly a down dog. You're gonna jump those feet in, so they're right outside those hands, pull back into a row, keep those weights close, jump it straight back. Back down into that kind of down dog. Feet come in, pull into a row, hands come down, bring it back. So you get a nice stretch in the lats and the back. When you go back into that crouch, and then you work that back as you pull back into that row. Whew. 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 
Five more reps. It's our last move with those weights. Four. Three. Yeah, two. And boom. Nice. Now, set those weights off to the side. You're not gonna need them. From right here. Last move, we're gonna bring it down to the ground. Oh, I'm gonna make sure those weights are out of the way so I don't bang my head. So, from right here, you're lying down on the ground. So bring it down gently. From right here, starting with those hands right in front of you. Don't connect those hands together so you're able to get a little more movement. From right here, you're gonna lift up with the upper body only. From right here, you're gonna pull back, bring that chest up a little higher. Then from here, you're gonna reach back to touch your butt, reach up even higher. In, down, all right? So you have one, two, three, four. Oh, Woo. we're in for it, let's go. Yeah, one, two, three, four. Ah. One, two, three, four. Whew. Yeah. So up, back, tap the butt, back down. Whew. Up, back, tap the butt, back down. Whew. Let's get three more reps. Up, back, tap the booty, back down. Yeah, yeah. Tap it, and down. Last one. Ah. Up, back, tap, and down. Let's get one more for a good measure. Up, back, tap, and oh. Bring it down into child's pose right here, just to stretch out your back. Guys, oh my gosh, your back should be feeling it right now. I feel like I'm standing up taller and more proud already. Woo. Woo. Amazing job though. Give yourself a, a pat on the back if you can reach. I can't because ugh. if this wasn't enough for you, repeat it one to two more times for a 20 or 30 minute insane back workout. <clears throat> Otherwise guys, I will see you next time with a brand spanking new workout. Until then, have a great one. Bye.